More local news now. The search continues for whoever severely beat a retired Turpin High School teacher in his Marymount home. That's right. Investigators continue to work this case hard, but the chief, the police chief, and members of the community want this one solved. Nine on your side, Tom McKee says that is where you come in. Richard Sinninger is recovering from head injury sustained 10 days ago when someone invaded his house. But since the crime remains unsolved, is casting somewhat of a shadow over the holidays here in the village. And that's why police are once again asking for your help. What happened in this Cambridge Avenue home on December 11th is the talk of Marymount right now. Someone duct taped Richard Sinninger to a chair, beat him, but didn't take anything from the home. Everybody's trying to be joyous and, and ready for Christmas, but that cloud is still hanging over the village as far as what's going on. Officer Stephen Watt is part of the investigation team and says Chief Rick Hines wants the crime solved. He's upset with us in a, in a kind way that, you know, that he wants some kind of clues and we just don't have any. Sinninger was a longtime teacher of American literature at Turpin High School and helped direct joint musical productions involving Turpin and Anderson High School students. He carried that love of music and the arts with him as a member of the Anderson Hills United Methodist Church. Whenever we had a music program, Dick would be here. Pastor Mark Rowland says Sinninger was very active in the church, which was attended by many of his students. He worked with, in our youth ministry, and again, the students uh, all loved him. Uh, he went on retreats and trips with us, and very gentle, kind, um, and, and very devoted to his faith as well. But just like the police, the church is struggling with the question of who could commit such a crime. Everybody feels um, really sad about this whole thing, trying to figure out what's going on, scratching their heads. Why would something like this happen? Turning that sadness into joy is something people can help do by calling Marymount Police or Crime Stoppers at the numbers on your screen. We need that one person out there that can you know, that might say, hey, I saw a guy there the other day, and, you know, that, that might be the lead we need. Some of Sinister's students put together a GoFundMe page to help their former teacher. But I'm told since he's a very private person, he politely asked them to take it down. Tom McKean, not on your side, Mary Mott.